Hey, it's Tyson here, and thanks for joining me for segment two on my Know Your Fingerboard series. Last time we talked about the 12 natural and sharp notes from A to G sharp, and I'm going to put a link up in the corner for you to check that video if you haven't already seen it. And here are the notes we've worked with if you haven't uh, got those handy. What we'll do now is we're going to learn their counterparts, the flats. So let's get right to it. All right, so last time we did our sharps, and the sharps are raising the pitches. We take a natural note, like an A, a B, or a D, and we raise it one semitone. For example, here's a C, we raise it one semitone, and it's sharp. Here's a, a A, and we raise it one semitone, and it's an A sharp. Now we're going to be going the alternate route. We're going to take something like a B, and we will lower it one fret for a flat. It will be called a B flat, or a D flat, or an E flat. All right, let's just start and go through this succession just like we did with the sharps. We'll start from the beginning where A, A is nice and easy. A, B flat, B natural, C, there's the pair, right? B natural and C, there's no C flat. D flat, D, E flat, E, F, G flat, G, A flat, and then we're back to A. And just like with the sharps, we can start that anywhere on any note as long as we know the note name. Right? Let's say we go to here, here's another B, B flat, here's an A, A flat. So now that we've covered flats and sharps, you're probably left wondering why are some of these pitches having more than one name? It doesn't really make sense. And that really is about the context of the key in which we play. So if we play in a key with flats, we tend to only want flats in that key. We don't want to see sharps in a key with flats. And we don't want to see flats in a key with sharps just generally speaking. So if I'm in the key of B flat, I'll have B's and E's flat. And if I want this note, we might call it an F sharp or a G flat. G flat's a better one just because I'm already using flats and we're already thinking in that context. But both names are technically suitable and that's called an enharmonic equivalent for you theory knots out there. All right, and that does it for this segment of Know Your Fingerboard. I'm Tyson and thanks so much for watching. Please uh, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button below and give me a like or a comment if you enjoyed what you saw. I'll see you next time.